In this video, I'm going to show you something really unique that you can do with the trip side information to create better spacing for your offense, create better pass protection concepts, and also be able to attack defenses in a new way. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and uh, we just do videos like this every single day, videos that help people become better Madden players. So if you want to get better at Madden, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button. These videos help me get better, and uh, hopefully they can help you guys get better as well. Now, if you guys want to get all of my offensive and defensive ebooks in Madden 22, you can get all of them by joining my Patreon membership. I've got over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks available in the Patreon membership. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. By signing up for just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks that we release over the course of the Madden 22 season. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this real quick. So this is a a concept that I really like out of trips tight end it's something real su subtle um, in mutt it's probably a, it's, it's a little bit better because you're gonna have a little bit better like route running just a little bit better players for that matter um, but what I like to do is I like to use motion from trips to create different formations so I'm gonna give you a great example of one of the ones that I like to do I like to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice post um, if you don't have time to print his post, put him on a smart item in, but you can put the tight end on a post and then you can motion him outside. And why this is so good is because now we get the nice spread out version of this offense. It makes it really hard for the user. And the other thing that's really good about this is we already know that the play action blocking from PA counter go is one of the best blocking um, out of a play action that you can get in the play. So even if they just say, because a lot of people when they see this look, they're just gonna go to this blitz out of three, three, five wide, right? So even if they wanna do that, all we need to do is ID the corner on the side that their user is on. So their user is on the left here. So we're gonna ID the left side corner. And then we're just gonna snap the ball and you'll see that we should be able to pick up the pressure. Um, if we can't pick up the pressure, then I'll show you what we can do. Let's see if I can show this again. It's a little bit different because I'm leaving the sixth man blitzing here. Um, so just bear with me a little bit. But typically what'll happen is this running back out of play action. All you wanna do is you just wanna hit right trigger as soon as he goes and he'll typically pick up the blitz. See how he kind of picks that up and then you can't send that pressure. And now I can basically be able to hit pass protection. Now, if they don't just, if they don't flat out like completely blitz their user that far down into the play, it's not gonna be as effective of a blitz. So it's gonna look a little bit more, I'm gonna try to my best to show this here. Um, let me just grab this linebacker. So typically what they'll do is they'll kind of stand like right here, if you will and then I'm gonna motion this guy out. And don't worry about the routes, we'll get to that in just a second. I just wanna show you the pass protection. But what you'll see is, it's like we motion him out, boom. And you see see how he picks up the pressure, and then now I can you know step up and, and make a read. So with two controllers, it's a little hard to show that, but we can pick up the pressure from this that somebody would send out of a 335 watt. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, if you have a tight end, that you can kind of stretch the defense with this becomes a really advantageous um, adjustment because what a lot of people like to do in tr against trips tied in is basically this they'll like they love to put this guy on an inside quarter to try to stop the bombs um, and then they might even if they're not in zone drops a lot of times you'll get an inside quarter like this just to stop the number three receiver well with this motion what is really cool is you can kind of out leverage them with this little motion right here so you can use this this uh, PA counter go out route is one of the best out routes in the game. You'll see he'll just cut to the outside and be able to get separation. It's about a 10 yard, 10, 15 yard out route. I'll show you that real quick against man to man. And you know, you know, obviously if you have a little bit better of a tight end, it's gonna be a little bit better. But a lot of times they can't press this too. So like if they're in a man line like this, they can't press that tight end. So this is another easy solution. And you see him just getting open over here on the outside. Now, another thing I want to show you is the two purple zones. So like if they run man, let's say they run man to man and they're going to go two purples and they're going to say to their user, hey, we want you to play the entire middle of the field. OK, if that's the case, I want to show you this this um, little quick out to the tight end. Um, this quick out can sometimes be very effective, as you can see right there, it still gets open. So that's one of my favorite routes um, to, to kind of use on the solo receiver. And what I can do from this solo receiver is as you can see, I can have this out route right here and then I can do a lot of stuff over the middle. So let me give you an example. So I can, 
take the you know the the crosser and i could put him on a zig if i have a slot apprentice or hover monster i could put this guy on a post and then maybe do like a little high low type thing like this this is a really good man-to-man -man beater for this defense it's also pretty good against zone because we have a high low on the left and we basically have a high low on the right now another thing that i want to show you real quick is i'm going to go grab a i'm going to reset my uh my zone drops here so a lot of people when they defend trips tight end one of the things they want to do is they want to take away the bomb okay and so the way that they try to do this is they're going to play this kind of coverage shell right here when you motion this tight and the reason they can get away with it is because the tight end is inside when you motion this guy out here they can't really get away with this anymore so now what i can do is run a streak to Scotty Miller. I can run a post to Mike Evans, and then I can honestly put whatever I want to Chris Godwin. If I want him on a crosser, I can put him on a slam because now they have to take that guy on the right, um, that safety on the right side, and they have to put him in a deep half. So here he is in a deep half, and what you'll see with this deep half is the slant will pull it, and now I've got a beater over the middle of the field for at least a big play, if not a one play touchdown. So this is one of the many things you can do with this motion out is it gives you a threat. Now, if they are going to be, you know, bold enough to say, you know, we don't really care that you're going to do that, then this is one of my favorite route combinations in the game because now what we can do, especially if they're setting an inside quarter zone drop, is we can put Gronkowski on a fade and then we can put Miller on a flat and we can put Mike Evans on an in route. And now we have PA counter go. And what you'll see is this 30-yard cloud will eventually let this seam go i guess rob gronkowski runs the worst fade route of all time but as but and i'll show it to you again um if you if you have any trouble with this sometimes it can be a little weird to the short side if you have any trouble at all with this put him on a streak instead of a fade like it's just that simple so i'll show you so he's motion him out we're gonna put him on a streak this time you know, all, all he's gonna do is the quarter won't the quarter won't match him so you'll see here see how he's over the top of him now of course if you wait you want to you want to wait for him to kind of that safety to kind of abandon or that corner to to drop 30 yard clouds they take a little bit to kind of drop which most people if you think about it though if they're running 30 yard clouds they're probably not going to be blitzing the crap out of you um that's that's they're probably double flatting so you're going to have time for this i don't know why i motioned scotty miller over um but anyways, this is a concept that you can go to. So this kind of sets up. What's cool about it is it's like a bomb that sets up your other bomb. So if they want to put an inside quarter over here, this is a great adjustment because now they have to deep half. And if they don't, um, as long as I, you know, wait my turn here, once he falls off, I can throw that. And as you can see, um, it's just a great, simple way, very simple way to and practical way to force them to have to deep half or outside third. So now if they run Mabel, like the double Mabel meta, I'll show you what that looks like. So, you know, I can motion this guy out, kind of have that threat, but I'm thinking, okay, well, they're not going to do that. So now I could do something, you know, like I was saying with the slant. And then if you wanted to put an in route or deep dig here, you certainly could. But what you'll see here is this skinny post is going to get absolutely naked over the top, as you can see there. So now we have a cover three meter. We have a cover, cover, um, cover three beater we have that quarter beater we have that deep half beater and then i'll show you real quick here with uh just a basic cover two that we'll be able to bomb the cover two as well and you can put the tight end on a post when you motion him out and the, the concept will basically work exactly the same so you see you're here now you can pick up every blitz still with the running back and if they run cover two you've got that baby coming right down the middle splitting the seams for a one play score so this is a really simple way that you can use motion to create a different formation that is going to really manipulate and affect your opponent in a very productive way. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd encourage you to check out the Patreon membership. There's a link in the description for you to be able to sign up for that, and just by signing up, it gets you access to all of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks and all of the updates that we release to them while your membership is active and any updates that we've already put out. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to sign up for our Patreon page, there's a link down below. You can head on down there and click on that and go check out that page.